friends welcome back to my channel today it's a very busy day vlog if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do sure like share and subscribe to my channel live tasty be happy at first i will introduce to you this small little gadget which is very very helpful for me in my morning routine it is a egg maker in which i can make scrambled egg omelets i can also make poached eggs as well as i can boil eggs this egg maker is very quick in making the scrambled egg as well as the boiled egg it gives a small alarm by which you will know that our eggs are ready this egg maker i bought it from target it was on a very good price also at that time when i was moving out of us i found this in target and i brought it here here only i tried and it is really superb with this same brand i bought two things one is egg maker and the other is waffle maker when i try the waffles also i will let you know how it is this egg maker has three different plates in it this one is for boiling this is for omelet and this is for poached eggs or half boils and this glass has a small needle which can be used for putting a small hole on the eggs while boiling just the same way i am doing it you have to make a small pierce it a small hole and boil it i did add the hot water also for it to steam of all the three boiling egg is very very superb it takes less time but it perfectly makes the hard boiled eggs you can control making hard boil or medium or soft boiled eggs this is dash company dash company egg maker the waffle maker is also the same company i will definitely share that waffle maker also in my next video the overall review of this product is very very good according to us in our house it is very very comfortable kids manage to make their own eggs in the morning by themselves just for showing i am doing it otherwise they will make their own egg when i am preparing their lunch box now let's come for packing you can see this all are unpacking i am going to do that's why i told this vlog is a very very busy vlog all this packing i did all by myself than packing the uh, unpacking is more more difficult while unpacking you have to unpack all the things and immediately you have to arrange them and organize them in cabinets as well and also you have to organize the packing material also i will not discard any of the material i will be keeping it for some time either for sharing with any of the friends who is going to move out or even for some time even we will keep if at all we happen to move again we need them to so it took really lot of time for me to organize everything every time i open a box it takes really long time here you can see i have lot of uh, glassware utensils or containers i don't use any plastic material inside my fridge other than using for cut vegetables or the salads i will be storing all my cooked food inside the glass containers only all these are the magnets which we collect as souvenirs wherever we go we will definitely have a souvenir that would be a magnet many we have lost and many we broke as well when they fall down they break these are few which we have saved like that i keep also a notepad with a pen in it so that i will be it will be easy for me to note down the missing ingredients or the grocery and also for noting down some of the measurements of my recipes sometime that is very important to keep a notebook and a pen over there and this is nothing but instapot manual this i always keep on my fridge because it has specific temperature and timings for each and every product like any potato sweet potato or any vegetable any meat variety it has different times that is temperature time to set on it it will be perfectly cooking fine when you use that this is the big big surprise which would i say a very happy surprise for me we found this rack in our house 
uh, almost after 15 days when my younger boy found this something coming out and it was a rack i was so happy before that i was complaining my husband that i don't have enough space to keep all my spices as well as all the utensils and containers in this small kitchen because in us you will see in even smallest apartment you will have pantry but here in canada what we saw there was no pantry at all everything you have to fix inside that small kitchen itself which was not at all enough this uh, rack which i found was a miracle i would definitely say if you find any space in your house like this definitely make a rack of this kind quickly for lunch i made beetroot alu gosh gosh means that is mutton mutton curry it is already vegetarian version of this curry is there on my channel i will leave the link in the description box i am making it in a very free style i just boiled mutton with ginger garlic paste turmeric salt nice well done after that again i opened i added onions tomato grind it well and add it to it raw everything raw i am not frying just added chili powder turmeric powder salt and coriander powder that's it mix it and check your water level in it and cook again for five to six minutes only for the vegetables to cook i have not added any oil you will see for just having little bit grease in this curry i will be adding coconut oil coconut oil doesn't need to get cooked at the last i am just adding enough coconut oil how much ever i need and give it a good mix I am just cooking it for 5 minutes again so that the curry becomes little more thick. That's it. Our super easy one pot recipe it is beetroot, alu and gosh. The weather is very bad outside. It was windy and snowy but now the wind has gone but still it's snowing. As I was organizing my kitchen, it was a busy day so I made a very freestyle of it was very tasty you can also try this recipe no frying nothing to worry just simply randomly you put as you want you put and add the oil just the curry will be ready for organizing each and every shelf I did not buy any organizers I did not buy any baskets whatever I had whatever was available in my house with that itself I organized for organizing it is always better to find anything like baskets or something whichever you have at home itself if you keep organize each and everything in its boxes it will look organized and you can also locate them easily you don't need to keep searching for anything in this place i will be setting up like first rack fully for snacks second rack is all for this bakur oud or samrani whatever we say and candles and nice i have some lights all those stuffs i will be keeping it in the second rack third rack is totally for my baking i have lot of baking items also which i will be all the all these three shelves i will not be using it daily and the snack shelf it is outside i will not keep it inside the kitchen these three racks are facing outside the kitchen towards the dining table so it is very comfortable to keep all these stuffs over here always whenever i find these small baskets these all i had bought it for my kids school organization which they don't need anymore so i am using it in my kitchen organization also i lined all the shelves with these type of white papers they are waterproof as well that will keep your shelves neat and clean as you all know in us canada and all when you vacate the house you have to give every shelf also neat and clean there should not be any um, uh, stains of any masala also for that reason I am just using all these liners so that it will be neat and clean when you empty it
Now let's come to the other side of the kitchen. Here I have whole lot of stuff to organize neatly. I have four drawers in which I will be keeping all my daily needed things in the most best organized way. Organizing each and every small tool in kitchen is very important. It is not necessary that it has to be very perfectly arranged but you should know where each and everything is kept so that it will be easy for you to locate whenever it is needed. For that reason only you should always organize each and everything. Everything needs to sit in its place daily back after washing also. Then only this organization will make a meaning. Now I will be sharing my skewers. These are stainless steel skewers for making any types of kebabs. They are, they are uh, two dozen in number. It's very very helpful. If you want I will leave the link in the description box. So, this is a cutlery set. This brand is super awesome. Sure definitely anybody wants to buy cutlery sure try this brand. It has lifetime guarantee and you can see how beautiful it doesn't have any joint in it it's a one piece metal which is carved into knife it's so beautiful it's a surgical knife set it is they are very sharp and i loved using them after using these knives i am always loving to chop all the vegetables so easily and comfortable I bought these knives from Sam's Club when they had their stall over there. When I inquired, they too, they keep shifting from Sam's Club to Costco to and any other wholesale chains, big chains. They have their stall only for two to three weeks. At that time, they give a really very big offer. These knives are very, very good. I would recommend it. Definitely anybody wants to buy. This brand is superb. It's 200% guarantee I would give. They give even lifetime guarantee. Whenever there is a damage or anything happens to those knives, they will just replace it without any question. I forgot to mention the knife stand I bought from Walmart. Sharing all these organization just to have an idea how you can organize it in the most minimal uh, things you have at home with that you can keep it neat and clean and tidy in its place so that you will be easily locating whenever you want any of the kitchen gadget either it is small or big few organization i bought one among them is these utensil glasses which i bought from dollarama they are very inexpensive one but very useful one to keep all the spatulas like this which I will be using in my day to day cooking is over the counter. This way all the drawers are ready but at the last the fourth drawer it still has the leftover grocery from Atlanta. When those grocery is done I will be organizing the last drawer. This one, this has still the leftover grocery which I carried from US. Once I am done with all these grocery, I will be reorganizing that place also. Finally, after all the work is done for my dinner, I prepared chow chow bath. Chow chow bath is nothing but both uh, sweet and savory dish is made with samulina that is suji i made pineapple and pineapple kesari and rava khichdi it's a combination in karnataka the breakfast or dinner item i prepared it for dinner and also shared this sweet with my neighbors over here definitely i must share one more review this is this pot in which i prepared the rava kesari that is pineapple kesari you can see without sticking anything to the bottom it came out clean and clear usually any steel uh, vessel will tend to stick in the bottom but the bottom is so heavy that it doesn't stick anything in it and it has a glass lid too it's a branded vessel it is from cuisinart Next, I will be buying different shapes in that same brand as well. 
Hope you all enjoyed this video. Next, I will be sharing recipes and ideas for Ramadan preparation. Soon, I will be back with another video. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.